I noticed there's a little trend that's going on, but that's okay. I don't mind. Uh, media are starting to grab my story that I cover, and you know, once in a while, I come up with a good one. And the one that the house behind the Vichy Meat Market, the historic historic house, and uh, it has been abandoned for three or four months. And uh, so anyway, I did a video, and what happened is CTV grabbed it, but once they went there, it was all cleaned. So they asked me if they could use my videos, my video of that issue. And here's the story with my hero, Steve Murphy. Now, a home with a historic past has again been targeted by vandals. This 180-year-old building has been empty for months, and the owners say they need financial help to start the renovations. But so far, no decisions and no money. CTV's Jessica Ng tonight at Grannon House. This is the first uh, uh, entrance. They kicked that window in there first. This used to be the home of beloved children's author Mary Grannon. It was recently broken into by squatters looking for shelter. A friend of the owner makes daily trips to the home to keep an eye on it. And then we went upstairs and they were, they were in the bedroom with the door closed, sleeping. And when I opened the door, uh, I was a little upset with them that they destroyed more, more of the stuff in there. Uh, ceilings and, and, and the, uh, the light bulb fixtures that are well in excess of a couple of hundred years old. Brian McCarty says squatters have been using the home as the weather has gotten colder in recent weeks. He says the home has been broken into six times. Each time, there is more damage. Since the last registered tenant left two months ago, heat and water have been turned off and disconnected from the building. This has made the cleanup tougher each time there is damage. Water even needs to be physically brought in to flush the toilets. In the way that Mary Grannon wrote, you could see it. It was like she was... She ignited your imagination. Mary Grannon gained international success publishing 30 books and writing more than 4,000 scripts before her retirement in 1962. The family home was built in 1830 by her maternal grandfather in what was known as the city's Irish town. Grannon lived here until her death in 1975. In 1999, the province of New Brunswick designated it as a provincial historic building. It was a beautiful home at one time. It really was. And it's one thing of when you're walking downtown that, that it was just part of our culture. The Fredericton Heritage Trust says it's working with the home's owner to try and save the idle property, though efforts have been stalled. No major changes can be made to the home, only small repairs. The current owners are hoping for financial help from the city. For now, though, the next chapter of Mary Grannon's 19th century home has yet to be written. Jessica Ng, CTV News, Fredericton. Said, you know, what's going to happen? Um, there's two things going to happen here, and I hope I'm 100% wrong. I mean, either they fix it, the committee gets together, fix it, or sadly, hope I'm wrong. God is my witness, hope I'm wrong. Uh, they'll burn it down, and we should preserve. History. Sad.